All right. Uh, I'm Matt Kavasic. And I'm Justin Hopp, and we're uh, Dirt Track Central. And well, uh, as always, encourage you your questions, comments, uh, anything else you'd like to relay to us, information about your local tracks or favorite drivers. Uh, you can text that to 785-201-9188. Uh, you can also email us at dirttrackcentral at gmail.com. And if you're watching and you've got a favorite photo from last week or um, or the past, send that on over to us. We, we've still got a few spaces here for a photo of the week contest. Uh, also, uh, I'd like to go ahead and thank our sponsors to start the show off. Our presenting sponsor, Engine Quest. Uh, Appreciate that. Um, Extreme Motorsports, VP Heartland Race Fuels, BMS Modifieds, and BSB Manufacturing, as well as uh, the Contour Cameras. We thank those guys for th their products and uh, encourage you to also ask us questions on those. We do um, sell those as well as uh, take care of the, the video from them um, on the site here. So check those out uh, we'll go on over to rpm speedway check out the feature of the week that's from the imca modified division and they were also our picks of the week last week so uh, go ahead and see how our picks did last Turned week out. In row 7, 6X Jason Schoener, 11W Tim Watts. Row 8, 70F Shannon Laughlin, 16 Jerry Teal. Row 9, 62 Matt for Bridges, 23 AJ Scott. In the back, uh, should have 60-60, Dallas Sherman, 3-3 mile level. I had some confidence in uh, David Murray. You can see him start in fifth row there. Uh, probably not the best pick, knowing that he won the week before and was going to have to start deep in the field. But... Uh, that is we'll where he's used to out. starting. Yeah, that's right. Cal Lutis is having problems. <laughs> yeah. He's taken one lap and heading to the pits. That's why he elected to start at the, near the back. Although he's going to stay out there at this time. Shuffles high, Murray looks inside. Here's Whoops. your leader, Cody Gerard. Oh, trouble, Roddy Hill out of shape. Who about got taken out there? <laughs> everybody stay straight, we stay green. Might have misjudged the old closing Gerard speed there. Gerard pulls out to a big lead. <laughs> it's Silver, Rolletter, Plummer, and Phillips. Plummer with a move, Murray with a move. Plummer second, Solberg third, Murray is fourth, Will under fifth, Then Phillips, Lagrand right six, seven. Everybody chasing Cody Gear hard to one half. Very late to play up to the third position. Slams the cushion and back Murray at it. Murray to the high <laughs> side, gets around, Plummer goes to second. Man, he quickly worked his way to the field there. Phillips for Solberg fifth now. How's your pick faring? Um, he's still back <laughs> there, probably 12th right now. Hmm. About Spin where he started. Four. That is Jesse Smith, and the caution's going to come out. Caution is out. Smith goes to the back, and he'll one for causing the caution. That's a 19 car, ready to go back to green. With five down and 15 to go. I'm in 11th place right now. All right. <laughs> I'm liking my pick pretty well right yeah. now. Murray goes to the bottom. Can he make it stick? Side by side into three and four. Murray slides in front of the one amp. He might get a little too high. Here they come. Murray, your new leader. <laughs> Gerhardt looking a lot better than we got a car around in four. Weeks, anyway. And the caution comes out. And the caution comes out. Caution is out. I think that was a complete <laughs> lap there, though. Look out, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Look out, Dave is right. And Dave is right. Here tonight. 
And so some good competition at the front of the pack yeah, tonight. Have can completed anybody track that down? Back out David Murray, still. easier said than done. Six down, 14 to go. Is he set to go back to green? For those of you first time out of the Speedway single file restarts, the code in four, you cannot pass before you get to the cone. Cannot go below it or cannot hit it or you are penalized. Race now for third. Over to the inside, Phillips to the outside. Travis Shevick and Kyle Willard are a good race for fifth with Lagrude not far behind. Everybody chasing the 97 Emma David Murray. I know they said the track started out awful wet. I didn't get to see any racing this weekend, but uh, sure looks like it came out to be one heck of a race yeah, track there. It finally did. It did take a lot of working in. They were even by about an hour late getting started. And it was still pretty hammered down the heat races, not a whole Logs lot. Logs across were halfway, racing, stretching out to a pretty good lead as a 97M. A lot of feature time came around. Yielded some nice racing. Man, Damn, Travis, getting a little friendly. <laughs> After which is off the track up at turn four. And the caution is out. We have nine complete, 11 to go. Flags have crossed, we're halfway. Phillips inside of Gearhart. has to back off. That almost got wild as Phillips and Clever closed the gap quickly. Top five remain Murray, Gearhart, Clever, Phillips, and Travis Shervick. Lagrune a close sixth. Seth Beard to 28. He's going to head to the pits. Molly Lefferman spins in four. Caution, Jeff. We are back to green. Phillips trying to get a run on Gearhart. Cannot make it stick. trying to get back at Phillips for third. He's diving underneath Gearhart for second. He has to back off in four. And the car drifted up. Roller 
Schroeder back at fifth as Shervik falls back a spot. Two to go. And they're going to race it all the way through this pack. Everywhere but first place. A great working on one letter. One lap to go. Here's Travis Shervick again with a move. Here's your winner two in a row for David Murray. Results and if you find something great, and if not, well, we'll just go ahead and spoil the surprise when we read the results here. <laughs> yeah, I think it was uh, pretty obvious. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, the only question mark was your guy, but uh, yeah, we'll get there. Anyhow, um, Salina Speedway Hobby Stock Division uh, number 82 of Mark Normand and bringing home the feature win, followed by. G.W. Fuller, Mike Truskowski, Tommy Fos, and Aaron McBride. So, uh, congratulations. There's uh, guys that have been uh, kind of had some tough starts to the seasons there. Or I would say those top three guys have yeah. <laughs> uh, been close, but not there. So, uh, good to see them doing well. Uh, in the stock car division, Austin Carter makes it two in a row. It's a nice accomplishment. Way to go, Austin. Uh, Scott Granzella in the Ford, second place. Uh, Corey Struckoff in the 59S, followed by Keith Riley. And Jed Williams, uh, I believe, from Nebraska, out of, or driver out of Nebraska, excuse me. So uh, good to see him down this way. And uh, hope to see that class continue to grow there at Salina. Uh, Following up by the Mod Lights, uh, Tyler Bradshaw in the 15B brings home the feature win in the Mod Lights, followed by Corbin Pickerel, Brandon Gray, Chris Unruh, and Dustin Forsberg. That's uh, probably another feature worth worth watching on the YouTube channel if you get the chance. Uh, I think those top four or five cars were... Uh, they're in a pretty tight pack and racing pretty hard, so uh, good job to those guys. Yep. Move on to the Sport Mod Division. Uh, Josh Rice in the 8J gets his first feature win of the season at, at uh, Salina Speedway. He was your 2011 track champion at Salina Speedway, so congratulations on that. I think that was the last last lap or last couple lap pass. Uh, Seth Schroer led most of that race. Uh, Matthew Crowell in third, Jesse Levine in fourth, and Dan Smith in fifth. On over to the modified division, uh, the 88J of Troy Johnson, followed by 24, Corey Lagroon. He's starting to get that uh, second place down to Oh, Art. man, I think it is three in a row there. <laughs> I believe so. <laughs> oh, I bet that's got him a little frustrated. <laughs> yeah, Maybe it's good close. to be running good, but just yeah. not quite there. So uh, uh, That's got to be tearing him up a little bit. That's a, that's a, really that. I mean, there's a lot of good racing that I missed this weekend, but watching the videos, that that's another video worth, worth tuning into was that modified race. Uh, Johnson kept it around the bottom the whole yeah. time, and Lagroon, man, one lap he'd hit it just perfect, and look like he's gonna, you know, blow his doors off the next lap, and then the next one he'd uh, look like it was just pretty tricky hitting just the right spot up there on that top line, uh, yeah. uh, and one and two there at Salina. So uh, did a nice job, ended up second place, and like you said, uh, a little frustrating, but uh, that's still some <laughs> to, to finish second every week. You can't. Complain yeah. about that, but you're just that one spot away from that win, and yeah, yep. that's what you're looking for. <laughs> so, uh, Jeff Welsh, Joe Cleveland, and Jesse Richter uh, round out the top five. So, yeah, and we'll move on to RPM Speedway on uh, Saturday night. Uh, 
and we got all those videos up too on our YouTube channel and we'll try to fix that modified one uh, and if you do notice any of those videos that don't seem right and uh, I didn't get edited right or something like that post a comment on or something or two so we can get that fixed up so sometimes I get to so busy editing them I don't even get to watch all the way through them either so on the uh, sport compacts at RPM Speedway uh, Vincent Jasper picked up the win followed up by uh, Monte Honus uh, Art Herzog Brandon Lobdell and Kurt Pannestill. And in the hobby stocks, the 29 of Jeremy Wagner picked up the win. He is followed up by Cody Graham. The 27A of Aaron Honus, Cody Graham, and Mark Normandon. Uh, sport mods, um, Blaine uh, Walt in the 14W picked up the win. He is followed up by Jake Crone. I think that might have been kind of a pass the last lap. Couple of them. Yeah, I mean, no. yeah, it was it was it was close. I don't. Uh, I think uh, Clevino was running running third, but he was awful close to to making nice that pass, pass for second Clint place there. Trent Clevino third, uh, Corey Struckoff fourth, and uh, Jace Nelson. Corey Struckoff's not a game, not a name we've always talked to in the sport mods. Always been a stock car, so he's trying out in the sport mods, and running pretty good. Uh, and stock cars, he'd uh, be the only. Only one in the top five not in a BMS there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the uh, Spider-Man of uh, Nick Tubbs picked up the win, followed up by Pat Bedore, Dustin McClure, Jason Davis, and Terry Cunningham. Did Nick climb the fence? You know, if he did, it was after the... Murray won, uh, Schoenberger in fifth, so uh, I haven't haven't gotten to tally up all our points, but I do have them from the last you couple of weeks. You where we're at? <laughs> okay. So, Hop's trailing by about four points as of the last two weeks, and uh, like I said, I didn't get digging quite deep enough to know for sure what last ones were, but we'll jump on over to Thunder Hill Speedway. Uh, they added that sport compact division this this year. Uh, the 12M of uh, Rhonda Muse picks up the feature win there, followed by Scott Spellmeyer, Kaylee uh, Diekman, Austin Charles, and Kelly Johnson. Uh, in the hobby stock division, Adam Armstrong uh, looks like he he took his winning ways from uh, Minneapolis closing the doors and just moved them east so <laughs> picks up the first weekly feature win over there at uh, Thunder Hill Speedway uh, followed by th number 27 Dominic Thifault, uh, Jacob Crowell in third Mallory Walters in the 87J um, and the 6J of Jacob Harms uh, in the sport mod division Triple two of Dustin Christ, followed by Matt Crowell in second, Brian Lariviere in third. A lot of twos up there at the front. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, did you? I watched a little bit of that race. Uh, saw a video of it. Lariviere was up to second and looked like he was gonna cruise for the lead. And, uh, front two hood pins must have broke or something, and the hood came up in his face. Oh. Uh, <laughs> He held on to second for a long time, and Matthew Crowell finally uh, got him there towards the end of the race, and uh, really didn't look too bad for not knowing for sure where he was going, I suppose. <laughs> he just kind of stayed way up high and out of trouble, and uh, until they started getting up to lap traffic, that wasn't, wasn't a problem. Uh, showing some pictures there, their feature winners, you can... Check out uh, racethunderhillspeedway.com uh, for that and their uh, points and all that stuff. Uh, Kyle Vanover, again, uh, picking up the stock car feature win, followed by Eric Rempel in the 21, Lance Borgman in the 76, Mike Nichols, and Greg Dieters. And kind of looked like boy. the out-of-staters kind of dominated that one there yeah yeah <laughs> and, the and the three ba beatrice guys pretty much and yeah yeah that's quite a yeah. quite a list of names <laughs> there and top four even five i mean Dieters was at uh 
at Beatrice there for the uh, sp spring show and and showed pretty well there too. So, but I watched that race as well, and that's uh, <laughs> that's quite a battle. So, uh, I don't know. Nichols kind of he, he couldn't catch him. He's not used to not being able to pull out the win at Thunder Hill, but yeah. uh, nice job anyway to all those guys. Uh, on to the modifieds. Jordan Grabowski, a little deja vu from last year, uh, followed by the 3B of Nick Bidinger, the G3, Brendan Gimmel, Mike Petersilly in uh, fourth place, and Brian Rigsby rounds out the top five. So congratulations to those guys. Uh, I believe that'd be a Cheeseworks video that's got all their, all of their, uh, feature races posted up so uh, go ahead and check those out on online as well uh, we'd like to uh, thank engine quest again our uh, presenting sponsor uh, Eric's the guy to call if you need uh, you need help with your combination figuring out just uh, how to get a little more out of your package um, under the hood he can he can help steer you in the right direction or your engine builder so uh, those are the guys to call yep uh, let's see Come on. also on in the results section I I just quickly scanned through some of the points and uh, clay money is still running uh, fifth place and national rookie points so uh, Congratulations on that. Uh, looking good. Uh, I don't see Mike Wadle in there, and I would think he's won three features in a row, and he's a uh, Northern Sport Mod rookie, so I would think he'd be getting up there, but I don't know what other races he's raced to know, uh, you know, what his total points are. Uh, but that's uh, that's one of the one of the points Balance deals anyway. Austin Carter in the 63 continues to lead state points, so uh, bringing home two feature wins in a row helps that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, Anything, anytime you can stay up front, that'll help that. What? Uh, let's see. You got the fuel of the thunder. Yeah, uh, kind of in our news section, we yeah. talk a little bit about the. Uh, well, the I guess mainly talk about the Hawkeye Dirt Tour, I guess, and uh, following that's going to be the. Uh, Fuel the Thunder is kind of going to be a uh, video shot over the series of the races for the Hawkeye Dirt Tour, and they're kind of going to follow, uh, I don't know how many, 10 or 12 drivers, maybe a little more than that, drivers around these races and kind of do a bunch of video and in-car stuff, uh, feature races, and I think interviews and kind of background Just on the life drivers. Of the, yeah, yeah, the life of the drivers yeah. on the tour, uh, you know, it. Uh, that's going to be a neat deal. It's uh, it's something that there's been a couple others tried on, you know, through the the TV, and it's just uh, it's tough with the size of market we have to raise enough sponsors to keep that that TV time and keep it in an optimal uh, time slot and all that good stuff. Uh, Barry and the guys at Xan are doing a great job uh, teaming up with IMCA on this and. Uh, going to deliver the show through YouTube, so uh, you know we'll be able to get on and watch that. Is there also be a DVD convenience. made of it too? Yeah, it? I, I yep. I believe I the, the series is going to be available through DVD, and I th think, if I remember right, the the first season is available on DVD. And I um, I should have looked at some more of the background on that. I was meant to kind of go back and watch some of those. I'd watched them last year, and I. would I don't remember. I'd watched a couple of different ones, uh, so I don't remember for sure. I know it was was up in Minnesota and covered some, I think, some Wasota tracks there. Um, and now they've, like I said, looking at the Hawkeye Dirt Tour this time. And uh, local to us, we've got uh, Jason Schoenberger on that. Uh, uh, he's out of Russell or Gorham, Kansas, and. Darren Duffy also is driving, uh, at least part of the time, driving a car that's owned by 
uh, the Jack Sports Grill guys out of uh, Garden City, Kansas. So that's uh, another one we'll keep a close eye on. Yeah. Jeremy Mills was just added today. He's he's driving a BMS car first year. He's been in the Harris forever, so that'll be that'll be fun for us to to yeah, watch. I as guess well. we can list off kind of the other people that they've you know said that they were going to have. Uh, Mark Elliott, uh, Ray Cox Jr., uh, Darren Duffy, as you just said, Jimmy Gustin, Richie Gustin, and uh, Ron Lorenzen. You know, say yeah. Uh, Lawrence and I think, but uh, um, okay. And Jay Notaboom and Jason Schomburger, I said from here, Mark Schultz and uh, Rich Smith and Mike Van Ginren and Jeff uh, Waterman. So, and there may yeah. be a few more added to that, but that's what they got so far. So All right. Um, what we're showing you here is the uh, DirtTour.com website. Um, I think as it as it kind of flashes across, it shows you a map of where they're at. But the 2012 season is there. Uh, if if you're uh, uh, available to to get away to those, there that'll be some exciting action. Uh, we're kind of looking at what what tracks and what weekends can work. But uh, they're mainly Monday and Tuesday night shows. You'll notice which. Uh, you know, the whole point of the tour is to get basically in-state cars, I believe, to um, travel and hit some tracks that they wouldn't normally run at. And so in order to make that possible, they're running on nights that are not points nights anywhere else. So um, yeah. that kind of narrows it down to weeknights, uh, which, you know, makes it for tough, tough for people from far away that, you know, Got a real, real job. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, some of us got to do that. So, um, but I'm sure the coverage will be great. We'll do what we can to to help cover it or team up with someone that can help us cover it. Uh, and there, we'll sure make it to a few of those. And there's a couple of two days weekend events at the end of the season, so uh, yeah. those might be good good choices. Uh, for the fans out there that are uh, looking for a little little travel, little getaway, racing vacation, so uh, were you gonna play the the promo video of that um, um, yeah, dirt tour? Can gives you kind of a, an interesting uh, sneak peek into a few of the drivers and the personalities <laughs> that we're gonna see. Uh, I I'm guessing that that thing was filmed at. Uh, uh, what do I want to say? Damn. Um, uh, the Frostbusters, judging by the the guys that were in it, and so I, obviously not all the drivers were chosen by that time, and uh, not all of them were at, at the, the at that Frostbuster event, event. But um, Barry was testing out some some camera angles and views and mounts and all that good stuff, and so. Uh, We'll uh, see if I got it here. Check it out. See what we got.
to it this year, and we'll see what we can do. Well, I don't know. We started doing it two years ago, and uh, it's just good racing, and uh, we just enjoy doing it. Works good for me at work, and uh, I can get off during the week, so uh, it, uh, we just have a good time. You bet. That's the only way I like it, man. That's why, that's why you go to those races and like that Hawkeye Dirt Tour, you know, that, that's why you do. You want to race with the best guys in the IMCA around. It, just, uh, it doesn't give me the same enjoyment racing weekly as it does going around racing for a little bit of money against the better drivers, and it, it makes us all better at the same time, so I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, there might be a little bit of drama. I'm going to try to stay out of it. I'm in the promoter mode, and i got to stay out of it, but there could be some drama. Hey, it's going to be a learning experience. I mean... It, anytime you run with top quality cars, top drivers, and you learn a lot, uh, you pick up a lot of new friends along the way. So I'm looking forward to it. Coming in this year, we have like a new car and stuff. We have a lot of confidence that we can hopefully run for the title. So this kind of makes the guys start wondering with some of the names that are joining it. But that's still a goal is to win the thing, and we're going to try to go after, I guess. Leave the left front at home for my buddy there. Where's my buddy? Hey, come on, leave the left front at home. That'll be uh, that'll be an exciting show to watch. Uh, so we'll see as the the rest of the drivers get interviewed and, and whatnot. Uh, I think we've got uh, our guest Jeremy Fernier with us here tonight. Are you there? Yeah. How's it going? Great. Uh, we're uh, we're running a little bit behind here, so we'll, we're going to watch a couple other clips and. Uh, talk about those if you got a few minutes and you can comment as as you will on it and then we'll uh we'll go right into interview with you will that work yeah i don't know if that'll work do you see okay. our video uh, i'm trying to pull it up now okay i was seeing here i didn't think i thought i had maybe set up maybe i didn't <laughs> okay oh well, as soon as we get uh, Jeremy set up there, we'll yeah. uh, okay. take a look at the crash of the week. Um, that's going to be from IMCA Stock Cars at uh, RPM Speedway. Uh, had a little little get together there. We can take a look and see what you think. Uh, <laughs> I thought I had that ready, but. <laughs> okay. Well, you can tell a little bit more about it. I thought I had that one up, up and okay. ready, but I'll right. be here just ready here in a Stand. sec. As were uh, the, as I said, the IMCA stock cars, uh, Keith Riley in the 55 and Adam Balthazar in the 92, uh, coming around turn three and get together. We got a little echo there from you, uh, Jeremy. Can you just mute the show on your... Sounds yeah, like you I got it now. Okay. There. okay. We should have her here. Here's our... Video. Okay. You see the black with the pink 55 in the third row inside there is Keith Riley. Right behind him is the white, gray, and blue 92 uh, with Adam Balthazar. Door to the outside, shooting the middle, the 737. Nick Tubbs goes up to second. Three, side by side by side, heading for the fourth, fifth, and sixth spot as they get behind the 45 of Mike Kennedy. The 
26 of Dustin McClure sideways down in the front stretch and he will come to a stop of oh, stop. Yes, that's correct. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Matt he wasn't too sure of himself. It's like a complete restart there. Tubbs is going to try to make a three wide to the outside on turns number one and two. Bedore, Thornton, your top two. Tubbs shuffled back. Cunningham and he make a little bit of contact. Three wide again, almost four, four wide, wide coming then. out of turn number four. Oh, there he goes around. Rally around. The 8R of Roland Remus is involved. I may watch that again, eh? Yeah. Three wide to the I had to watch it about five times to figure out exactly two. what happened but there. I actually two, put that back. in slow motion, but I didn't put it on this. A little bit of contact. Three wide again, almost four wide coming out of turn number four. And around yeah. we go, Riley around. I think his tail started to chase the him. The 8R yeah. of Roland <laughs> Remus is involved. Uh. That was one of our submitted questions was, uh, you think you'd have more fun driving a stock car? <laughs> oh, yeah, I might, actually. <laughs> well, that's pressure, I'd say. Well, I, I would think, uh, as successful as you are in the modified, you'd probably have quite a bit of fun with that as well. <laughs> Yeah, it keeps us busy, that's for sure. Oh, I I can imagine, especially after that uh, Beatrice trip, huh? <laughs> yeah, that was interesting. <laughs> Great way to start the year, I'll tell you. Well, I guess if it gets the bad luck behind you, maybe that's the, maybe that's the ticket. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Uh, We've been rolling since then, so. Yes, sir. Uh, I think... Uh, We'll save that other video for uh, um, later on here in the show, and we'll just go ahead and uh, jump into talk. And I w was able to talk to IMCA a little bit about a uh, little about about your past, uh, but I'm not sure that I got it all jotted down here, right? So we'll just uh, we'll just leave it to you. Do you uh, how how did you originally start getting into racing? I mean, did did you were you raised in it, or did you, uh, how'd you start? Well, my family had always helped at our local dirt track, uh, I-76 Speedway. Uh, they were never racers, but they, my dad helped run the track and the pits. So pretty much from when I was one years old, I was at the racetrack every weekend. And by the time I was old enough to do it, I had to get a car and start. So <laughs> went from there about 10 years ago. 10 years ago. What you, would you start in? Uh, enduro cars. Yeah. 200 laps or two hours, whatever came first. Wow. <laughs> and then we moved on to stock cars. Ran two years of stock cars and mods ever since. Okay. So So you did run the stock cars for a while then? Yeah, yeah they weren't IMCA sanctioned. We ran with Camaros and whatnot, and we ran on a asphalt takeoff tire. Ah. So it was quite a bit different than what the IMCA boys are doing. What did you have for? Did you have a Camaro or? No, I actually had a Monty. Okay. It was an IMCA car I bought from Bustles out of Holyoke. Okay. So it was a pretty good piece. <laughs> uh, you have some success in that before you you moved on to the modified. Yeah, here at I seventy six Speedway we won. Oh shoot! Those two years we'd win at least half of the races each year. So. We were successful. We just didn't travel. Stuck at home. Right. Okay. Uh, so then you moved on to the IMCA modified class. Uh, what? How did you start in that? What? What chassis did you buy? And what? You know, how did you start off? Well, let's see. It started out in a 2005 Big Dog. I bought from a guy that ran pretty good out here, and I put two seasons on that car with. Had a little bit of success. We won a couple of races, and then we moved on to BMS. Okay. In 2007. Was uh, uh, 
Do you you date uh, David Murray's daughter, Sarah? Uh, did you guys meet at the racetrack, or how's that uh, all come together? Well, yeah, pretty much. Uh, I was actually pretty good friends with the family, and just from being with them at so many races, but Sarah had always been dating somebody else, and I was like, you know what, that'd be a great girlfriend, but she's taken, and she finally became available, and I had to get on top of that. Yeah. Not literally. <laughs> just in case Dave's watching. So I, had to, I had to ask her out. There you go. Uh, so once you got into the modified, did, did you start traveling immediately, or uh, what, what, got you, what got you out there trying different tracks? Well, I just fell in love with the sport, and I just wanted to see what else was out there. I couldn't sit still. I had to keep on going, so I tried doing the three nights a week and traveling four plus hours to racetracks and <laughs> all that good stuff. That's what I was gonna say. You guys are uh, you're not geographically blessed uh, as far as We're racing screwed. three nights a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that would be a, another way to put it. <laughs> so, what's your what's your plans for the season? Do you have? Uh, certain tracks that you're chasing points at or do you just want to run around and race all over or? Well, i think we're going to run for the points at holyoke uh phillips county raceway and then we're going to chase the bst west and besides that we're just going to bounce around and have some fun good that have you had some uh past track championships in the modified as well yeah, we, we've won McCook a few times, and then, of course, uh, track championships uh, here in Fort Morgan. And we've won the BST series, uh, I think it was either 2000 or, uh, 2008 or 2007. Excellent. So, chasing a little more BST and, uh, and a track championship. I think, uh, I think they told me you had 20 IMCA wins to your credit at this point. Is that right? Or yeah, I guess going right. into this year, uh, how many you've won a few? Yeah, this year as well, right? Yeah, we've not stopped three so far. That, three right in a row, if I remember right. <laughs> uh, pretty close. We won uh, two nights down at Beaver, and uh, then we raced McCook on a Friday, and I ran third. But we won the next night out at Goodland, and that was last weekend. Okay, yeah, yep, that's, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, just good way to the, start out the season, though. Yeah, yeah, off to Yeah, it. I'd like to add three more <laughs> starting tomorrow night, so. <laughs> there you good go. Happen. Now, tomorrow night is uh, kicks off the BST Tour as well, is that correct? Uh, not for the modified, it's for the stock cars. Oh, okay, okay. I, I thought it, they were all always running together, but... Uh, all right. Uh, it'll just be Holyoke's opening night. Okay. Uh, so definitely hit hitting that, and then where are you headed from there this weekend? Oh, Saturday night, either North Platte or back to Fort Morgan. And then Sunday, we're going to head out to uh, Lexington, Nebraska okay. for their opener. All right. Well, um, so we're not, we're not going to get to see you back in... Uh, Joaquini or Hayes or any of that uh, too often then, huh? <laughs> yeah, that starts getting out there a little ways for us. I think Joaquini's four and a half hours and Hayes is five. It just it gets me out there too far from home. Uh, I understand. Yeah, <laughs> we well, understand. They're great tracks, though. Yeah. Um, what what do you consider your highest accomplishment in the uh, in the IMCA modified division? I don't think I've had it yet. <laughs> uh, last season was a good season. We won uh, 12 or 13 races, so I try to put that at the top. Yeah. But there's still a lot of races that I want to win and things I'd like to accomplish for sure. What would be at the top of that list as far as your, your future goals? Oh, I think it'd be really neat to win the deal out at Las Vegas in November. Yeah. Uh, just the amount of cars they're getting and the fact that the track is so racy and I don't know, it'd just be really neat to win it. And have you raced that before? A thousand bucks, so <laughs> that'd be nice. Yeah. Have you raced yeah. that one before then? Yeah, we've been out there 
uh, the past four years, yeah. and we've only ended up in the show one of those uh, years. So haven't had the best luck, but I think we'll get here sooner or later. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> keep keep working at it. Uh, what do you what do you do to afford the hobby? Uh, it's a family floor covering business. Okay. So we do tile, hardwood, carpet, vinyl, all that stuff. Is that just you and your dad then? Yeah, it's just me and my dad. So. So busy We're doing that all week, but I <laughs> always make time for all weekend. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, well, it's that's nice. usually priority number one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as long as the money's coming in to to keep going, right? So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, good deal. What uh, you have any questions for him, huh? Um, no, I mean you might also since you talked about who makes the money go, you might have to thank your other sponsors too. Yeah, I've got really good sponsors on board. Uh, Schmeckley Brothers Construction Company. It's a local business that they build packing plants, and uh, their business has just grown tremendously over the past 10 years so they're a great sponsor and then uh, Engel Construction and the Car Barn at Lexington, Nebraska Rick Staley's Plumbing and Heating the local sponsor and then of course Veneer Floor Covering that's probably the biggest sponsor of all by far so DMR Chassis and JR Motors and Wells Designs do the wraps for us so is this a new car this year, or this year's same ones last year? This is the uh, the still the 2011 that we ran last year. So. Couldn't quite pull the trigger on a new car this winter, so we're gonna take this one as far as it'll take us, and uh, might up might wind up in a new car at the end of the year. We'll see. Yeah. Well, it seems like it's working just fine for you, so yeah. uh, maybe you don't need to fix it <laughs> if it's not broken. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. We never wrecked it last year. Um, the asterisk at the beginning of the year this year was about the hardest hit it took. So how put it back on the pig and they straightened it up and feels brand new again. Well, sometimes uh, <laughs> sometimes a good hit's what they need to speed them up. <laughs> so some of the yeah, old racers that, tell me anyway. It was a blessing <laughs> for me, but I don't think Dave looked at it that way. No. <laughs> no, that wasn't uh wasn't a fun weekend in the in the BMS camp there. Um. <laughs> I think after Saturday night, uh Tyler Fry had totaled his out and then pitted next to him was my car and then next to me on the other side was Murray's car, so <laughs> was, uh, Brandon knew he was going to be busy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think he was thanking his lucky stars that he didn't make the show there uh, <laughs> Saturday night, just so that his car was still straight and drove in the trailer with all the other work they had to do. <laughs> Not to mention yeah, that early in the exactly. season, there were still plenty of new cars that needed to to roll off the floor as well. So, uh, <laughs> but uh, I think they. They took pretty good, quick care of all all you guys that had trouble there, and uh, all three of you had good success since. So yeah, I was real surprised yeah. at how fast they got all them cars back <laughs> together and turned around too. So yeah, what they've been doing a help job down there. Yep. All right, um, who helps you on the car? Do you guys have uh, crew around that that travels with you, or just you and your dad? make it happen uh i got some guys that show up and drink my beer in my garage uh, <laughs> i don't know about guys working on my car though basically just me and the pops so sometimes that moral supports what you need maybe huh yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah it keeps uh, things entertaining there you go <laughs> all right well um i appreciate you coming on the show i think we'll uh we'll turn you loose unless you want to stick with us we got a another couple of clips to look at here and uh so we can we can do that or we can let you go but uh, yep. uh we do either way thank you for your time and uh wish you the best of luck here in the three-day race weekend to come so yeah what what is your yeah you, i think you already did kind of talk about what you're doing this weekend yeah yeah so uh, uh, good luck with that 
Yep. Definitely. Well, thanks for having me on, guys. All right. Thank you. Uh, talk about a couple more sponsors here, real quick. One of one of uh, uh, one of Jeremy's sponsors again, BMS Modifieds. They, uh, like we said, did a heck of a job for those guys that got tore up and piatris and and had to plug some cars out. But boy, they the cars in general have just been going going gangbusters this year so uh it seems like around this area it's getting back to to the point i remember when i first started watching racing when uh you know the majority of the cars on the track around here locally were were bms's and uh seemed to be getting back to that point so uh we thank them for for their sponsorship on the show and um uh, i I think I've uh, <laughs> we've gone past a, a few marks here, so I'll go ahead and pick up another one. BSB Manufacturing as well is uh, a great help on the show and uh, help to a lot of the, the drivers around too. So uh, if you're looking for, for a way to help create some more traction, uh, give Jay and the guys there a call. and uh, They can help you out with a, a shock package to fit your driving style, uh, help you out with springs, uh, brakes bird, bird cages, cages uh, a lot of different parts There's yeah probably not many modifieds out there doesn't have one part from bsb on their cars uh, you know whether they got lots of them or not but uh, they got a lot of different products that for them for the modified class and then having some shocks and stuff for the the hobby stocks even now i guess they got to shock out them for the hobby stocks too so. yeah so thanks again to those guys uh i was uh we we keep meaning to get a, a shop talk uh, portion of the show in, and uh, I w was out in Garden City um, seeing uh, customers yesterday and today, and was able to get get a little shop time in with uh, uh, Perry Meisner and uh, uh, all the the Jacks cars, Mike Wadle and and Rodney, and uh, had a good visit with those guys, but unfortunately. Uh, forgot the <laughs> camera. <so. laughs> uh, they they were uh, they didn't want to be on the camera very bad anyway. Yeah. By the time I got there, but uh, yeah, it was good it thing was you nice make several trips down there throughout <laughs> the year. <Yeah>. So <laughs> we'll <laughs> definitely get those guys on at some point. And uh, uh, you know, Mike is like I mentioned earlier. I think chasing the, the national rookie points in that sport mod and, uh, one three races in a row in it now and so, yeah so he's had uh, some <laughs> good start to that too so definitely he said they they struggled a little bit with kind of re-gearing their minds to the the two link suspension from the stock cars that they're uh, the rest of the guys are running and uh, still enjoy the stock cars still loves the stock cars but mike for some reason thinks he needs something without fenders on it so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, but power to him and uh glad to see him doing well and the, the rest of the crew's doing well too so uh yeah. i don't know that there's uh too many stories to repeat but <laughs> 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 plenty of good good stories out of there and uh we'll we'll get them like i said on camera later on but uh so much for yeah. this week's shop talk <laughs> 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 uh we do have a, a video pu picked out for the bonehead move of the week, though. Uh, the video wasn't wasn't great on it. Yeah. I thought I had seen a video somewhere on it that was better, but I I can't seem to find the thing. So, uh, but a couple of mod lights in the heat race at Salina Speedway. Um, Let's see, the 43 of Glenn Blue and the 101 of Randy Ferguson. And I think they're both uh, uh, pretty new rookie drivers. Yeah, so rookie <laughs> drivers in the Mod Light class so. and uh, battling it out for the last place spot in the heat race. And, uh, got a little rough on one of the cars there, but we'll, go ahead <laughs> and we'll show, it, show to you. it to you. What we have of it anyway. Yeah, we so. didn't catch the whole thing. So. Come off of a 
restart here, I think. Maybe there's a restart coming. I think coming, I just so. started from the beginning, too, okay. so we may watch a little bit here. I, I don't think it was terrible deep into the race, so we'll just kind of watch that. Oh. Hopefully we can get some announcer action going at Salina Speedway well, pretty soon here, here, but uh, I don't think they're not quite there yet, are they? Uh, uh, the it told me they're coming the soon, but... So. I don't know why I should have a little bit of sound on this, so... There we go. There. Whoa. Uh, that was Nick another new car, too. Is that yeah. Nick Watts? Okay. Yeah, that's, he just got a new I, color. I guess I'm assuming it, it's... He has a pretty unique number, 01Z, yeah. so I think that's, I think that's Nick. Uh, watch the purple car and the white car in the back. There. It looks like... Uh, they both headed towards each other, and 101 ended up in the wall. <laughs> we'll try to see if we uh, can't see that again. Yeah. There we go again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's trying to pass before the cone. Yeah. No good. <laughs> I don't know if he may just well. got her on the gas too much, and his car tried to turn on him too on the restart, and the other guy, is, so he turned down to save it. Or There we go. Hmm. But I think Ferguson ended up getting Ferguson. the worst of it. Put up and kind of end up going into the wall after that. Yeah, and he didn't. He didn't start the feature, and uh, it, the other car did, according to the results. So yeah, it ripped his uh, left front, or er, eh, I can't remember which one it was. One of the front wheels was missing off it when they <laughs> they towed it in. It wasn't yeah. even there. It wasn't even dangling. You know, sometimes they'll they'll still be dangling by. A brake line or something. This <laughs> 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 one's completely ripped off. So needs but a few parts. Huh? Yep, I think that one was mainly due to rookie mistakes. And yeah, and you got to start somewhere, and they were starting in the back, but they got her tore up. So yeah, well, that's uh, <laughs> that's the way it goes on the learning curve once yeah. in a while. Um, let's see. Um, we do need to get We've our pictures in. We haven't talked about our the photos, photos of the week. week. Yep. Um, yep. Uh, and we do have some submissions here. And uh, if you haven't sent it yet, uh, get it over to us. We'll still post it. Uh, won't be able to introduce it on the show here, but we'll we'll get you posted. Uh, if you've got a photo that we took that you like, you can. You can submit that. We've had that yeah. before, and uh, sometimes I don't do the best job of going through and <laughs> choosing one of my own photos to, to submit. You, so. you didn't get a whole lot from this uh, last week, and anyhow. No, I didn't. <laughs> well, we got a lot of photos, but uh, they're of the <laughs> the nephews and and uh, cousins around the campfire. Went to Minnesota and had some family time and enjoyed a weekend off. We we were going to do some racing up there. My nephews love the races, but uh, I think it ended up being in the in the 40s and wet and cold and nasty. And probably really shouldn't even have been hanging out around the campfire, but uh, we're kind of hard-headed like that, I guess. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, uh, right. Well, we'll go through with our pictures from last week and look at, take a look at them. Here, this one is from uh, Kyle Vanover. One of the pictures that you took, maybe, or yes, and yep. at Salinas Speedway a couple of weeks ago, or something. Yep. And this one somebody sent in too. It wasn't a great picture, but it was kind of a unique picture with a car rolling over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then we got the picture of AJ Scott and Mike Petersilly uh, by Dirt Track Devils sent in. And then the Tubbs, Nick Tubbs and uh, BJ, BJ Wagner. Wagner. On the top yeah. There, yeah. And I think this one's going to be our winner here. Looks like had the most votes here. I don't know if there was Maybe another one. 20 there. Yeah, okay, this was there close. we go. Um, yep. Jesse Olson some from, uh, what was it? Race in Lansing, Minnesota, Minnesota. there, I think. Um, actually, this one was in uh, Chattanooga. Yeah, Lansing. Yep. Chattanooga yep. Raceway. Sure. So, oh, and uh, Dave's picture, too, uh, Danny Morrison, Jr., and that one had quite a few likes, too, but I think it's going to be the Tubbs and 
Wagner stock car yep. picture there. 20, 28 people Excellent. liked it. So uh, that's our winner. There we go. Actually, we'll, uh, we have some new ones for this week. Or yep, yeah, there's so. a few there. So let me see. Use those last week. I had some, whoops. So I can get this on. There we go. And Austin Carter, your yep. two weeks in a row feature winner in the IMCA stock cars at Solana Speedway. Uh, and that's a Dirt Track Devils photo taken by uh, David Chivery, I think. Uh, yep. Let's see if I was going to try to Let's bring up uh, the. Oops. Get here on the right deal. This picture was just sent in. Um, oh, we've got the right. background story on that. Yep. Um, I know it's a. Uh, Midget getting ready to hot lap for the show they've got coming up in Dodge City here this weekend. Yeah. Um, uh, Cody uh, Ledger, and he, this was at Beloit, and he was just kind of practicing uh, at the Jay Husker race up there. And I guess that's another race we should have actually tried to get results from. I didn't, yeah, I didn't think about didn't that. Think about them, but that, uh, uh, they raced up there. I uh, believe they raced Mod Lights, and as well as the Jay Husker, Husker Mini series. Sprints, and... Uh, I think they usually run mini trucks too. So yeah, but uh, Tim Passmore is one that sent this photo in here too. So okay, make sure you like that one up if you like it. And got another uh, Dirt Track Devils photo here, and the Josh Rice 8J, actually your Sport Mod winner here at Salina uh, last week. That's a that's a good looking car there. I, um, I think it's one of his best looking cars. I think yeah, the the color is really uh, it's photogenic. Um, Sometimes they get so busy and small that it, you know, it's it's hard to take a good picture of it. Um, you know, just a few colors and you know, bright. And it just, man, that thing it takes a good picture. So uh, I'm sure we'll get a lot of them through throughout the season here. Uh, we got one more too that was sent in to us. I was trying to find the background yep, story I can pull that up here you got that story i got the photo but yeah so I think that was uh jerry welsh took this picture at leesville speedway 171 speedway in louisiana and uh the car was built as a tribute to uh to his best friend and his friend's dad who's been racing that same um, paint scheme and whatnot for since the 60s I guess so uh, that it was passed down from father to son and and now the uh, Jerry is has rebuilt that that car to keep the uh, kind of retro tradition going yeah, the retro so look on her there kind of yeah, older so style and that's uh, call a limited mod down there um, I'm guessing similar to B mods or sport mods up this way. So yeah, uh, so got a picture all the way in from Louisiana. So yeah, appreciate nice. that. Thanks for yep. sending that over. And uh, again, if you've got one that you'd like to to get in, send it on over, and we'll we'll get it talked about. So uh, that's all we got. I think. Yeah. Yeah, uh, th that's it for this week uh, as far as photo submissions. But I've uh, uh, got a, a lot to look forward to in, in uh, racing here in the Midwest uh, this coming week. I think that's kind of where we're up to. Actually, let me talk about Extreme Motorsports before I forget. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and guys at Extreme, I saw Mike. Peter Silly made the uh, top five at Salina, I believe it was, uh, as we were going through his results. So congratulations to him on that. Um, Extreme Motorsports is the home of First Class Chassis. Uh, 2011 IMCA Northern Sport Mod National Champion, Brian LaRiviere. And they are also your track parts uh, suppliers at Salina and Thunder Hill. So 
look those guys up, or you can, you can pick them up for sure there in Great Bend, Kansas. Uh, they also ship parts out, so if you're looking for uh, looking for parts or uh, another option for a new car, the give Mike a call. So. Uh, <coughs> We've got quite a list of things to look forward to here in the, yeah. the coming week. I know there's there's even some that I don't have on the list yet, but I know of. But uh, Friday night, Friday night we've got uh, Salina Speedway, of course, with the late model division again and the mod lights. Uh, also got Dodge City with the USAC midgets. Uh, running with them is the Thunder Cars and modifieds on Friday uh, trying to think if there's anybody else on Friday I don't think but uh, oh Holyoke is yeah, their the season opener for yeah. that uh, uh, Phillips County Raceway that's the BST yeah. opener for the stock, stock cars that's uh, something new this year is having the BST stock car series there too so I think hopefully have a good show out for that too so and then on Saturday, we got um, Hayes it's racing. And what else? Yeah, there's uh, oh the Nebraska tracks. Much sure. Uh, is it McCook is McCook's Friday night opening. Somewhere. Okay, yeah. I was trying to think of where Jeremy said he's heading. Uh, uh, Nebraska, uh, mid Nebraska Speedway. Probably Donovan. <laughs> or I think so. Uh, so now there's lots of choices. There, yeah, there's <laughs> a lot of anyway, a lot of choices as far as <laughs> weekly racing's concerned. As far as specials, uh, yeah. the USAC midgets again at Dodge City, uh, and uh, I don't think I think that's it for the the BST tour. Just just yeah. the Friday night deal. Uh, so, but uh, yeah, plenty of places yeah, to get out. Also on uh, Sunday, I think the uh, Knoxville race that got rained out mm. a couple weeks ago too. Right. Uh, that uh, I'm not even sure what they're calling that race, but it's an IMCA race and calling it the Knoxville Shootout or IMCA yeah, Shootout, shootout or something like that. So shootout at Knoxville. Shootout, so uh, so that's Sunday night and uh, Joaquini also in this area. Yep, or kind of this area. But then uh, uh, Vinton is is the first night of the Har Hawkeye Dirt Tour. Uh, on Tuesday night, so yeah. So do we figure out what that, we're, we're gonna pick on? Are we gonna <laughs> pick on that one? Maybe try to pick from the list of. Hmm. Yeah, that'd be about the only way we could. Uh, kind of, we know these guys pick. are pretty well gonna be there. Yeah. Well, I got to pick first last week, so I guess you can. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, can I, I was the, the low man first. this week, so. Um. Gosh, geez, just just this list here is pretty big, and I know there's going to be a lot of other big name, you know, drivers up there too. So, but I don't know for sure on the other ones. So, I'm going to go with um, Richie Gustin in the 19G. Richie Gustin. He's he know he makes it exciting anyhow. So definitely. So <laughs> I'm going to have to pick. Uh, I'll go with Jay Notaboom. Yeah. <laughs> Always a safe bet to put on a show, too. And uh, uh, like you said, that's going to be a stacked field of cars. So we'll see how it turns out. But i uh, like to like to be able to make that one. But Tuesday night. That's yeah. And, and it's a long, a long haul from here. So yeah. <laughs> it, it's, uh, it's, not, it's not just Boone far, either. It's, it's yeah. a ways from there, too. So I think but I looked. It was like... Uh, eight or eight hours from here yeah. or something so yeah i don't think we're gonna make that one but uh hopefully people keep us up to date on the happenings there and we'll we'll get some footage back to to you somehow and yep. keep on keep on going uh, i do have a couple of sponsors left to thank uh, that we slipped through the cracks there but vp heartland race fuels again uh I, I've said it before, but there's <laughs> so many different fuels that uh, you just never be able to fathom. But those guys yeah. can tell you for what your rate, you know, if you're racing a crate motor, there's a fuel for that. If you're racing a motorcycle, uh, you know, even the, the motocross, that 
So there's a fuel for that. Uh, you know. Yeah, it used to be here. Yeah. We just went to the racetrack and bought the racetrack, what they sold there, and it was pretty much one fuel. is either your race race fuel and your alcohol, but uh, VP's got a lot of offerings, too, that can may work better for your package, what your engine combination is and stuff, to get a little bit more out of it, too. So. Hmm. And uh, we've talked about Contour before, but uh, those guys uh, have helped us out with some cameras and... Um, we've been selling those cameras and having really good luck durability wise with them uh, the contour Rome is kind of the uh, preferred camera at least at this point uh, out of the factory <coughs> excuse me we're coming upon a, a model change and so the, the GPS is uh, a little more difficult to get right. your hands on right now but um, that contour Rome camera is it's just really simple uh yeah. we we can put it on anybody's car and walk away and tell them how to use it and, and don't have to worry about whether whether they can figure it out or not to remember to do it it's another yeah, that's thing but uh, <laughs> some things the guys aren't used to it and they they got their yeah. sequence that they do before they get in the race car and take out on onto the track and that's not always there but uh, <laughs> that's happened a few times but but yeah it's, it's one thing about them is they're just real simple easy to use and even even with your gloves on too, they don't have small little buttons that you uh, can't even push. It's got a big button with your race gloves and everything. You can slide the switch and you're good to go. So. Yeah, and that's uh, we keep those in stock. So if you're if you're interested in that, get a hold of us, uh, DirtTrackCentral.com, uh, and we can uh, we can show you one at the track. We put one on your car, whatever you whatever you want to do so uh, but contour does for all the videos that I've seen are are as good or better than any of the uh, any of the competitors as far as what we do with them uh, especially th the nice thing with that the Rome and the plus having the mm -hmm. sealed lens sure makes you know you don't get the dust behind the lens and uh, just makes it nice so uh, appreciate those guys' help with the show and uh, I think we've uh, we hit everything. Come to the end of it. So good. <laughs> <laughs> Unless uh, check over here and see if we got any. Uh, we got a reminder about the Knoxville race. That's uh, about all I know on that. So, yep. so. Well, that'll do it for another edition of Dirt Track Central. I'm Justin Hop. I'm Matt Kavasic. Thanks for.